I think I'm gonna harvest my first oysters off of these logs. If I'm not mistaken, this is the gray dove strain. And you can see if you've seen some of my videos of the uh, late fall oysters, which these are probably really close uh, kin to. These are a lot darker looking. And this is not a bumper crop, but it's the first crop that I've got off of them. And I think that after this, I'll have bigger, bigger flushes. I'll harvest this one and let this one go another day and harvest that one. All right, y'all, just a little quick update with the mushroom logs. Gray dove oysters. I uh, bought them from Field and Forest and inoculated them several months ago and left them in the barn, which I shouldn't have done. They didn't get rained on, and I'm surprised that the mycelium didn't die, but it didn't. So it's colonized the logs. I'm getting these mushrooms now not a huge harvest uh, pretty small actually but I think now that the mycelium has apparently colonized the logs that I'll get some big flushes when it comes time but just look at these and how dark they are like I said they're different colored than the wild ones uh, so kind of neat and they're prettier looking which I, you know, I got these at a really young stage, but even the ones in the woods that I found at a young stage, I don't think are this pretty. So, uh, usually I don't say, I, I don't know if I've ever said that the uh, uh, tame or domesticated is better than the wild, but I'm thinking these may be, and I could have let these go a little longer, but me and a couple friends went mushroom hunting the other day. I have a ton of wild mushrooms. I don't really need these, but again, I grew them, so I'm on, I harvested them, I'm gonna play with them. Uh, so hope you enjoyed that. Y'all be good.